and welcome back to Bill's Retro Stuff. And today I'm going to work on a Kenwood receiver. Well, it's an amplifier slash box here if you kind of look here. Um, it's not really a retro, although this is probably made in the late 90s, early 2000s. Still not retro enough, but a friend of mine's son wanted me to look at it. Um, I plugged it in because if you look, it's got a plugs into off the amplifier which is sitting on the floor. Um, the um, it kicks the amplifier into safe. You know, um, all amplifiers have a, a safety for like if something's shorted, and this is what's doing on this one. So what I'm going to do here. Oh, anyway, uh, when you do power it up, it t puts it in there, but it also smells. <laughs> Believe it or not, it smells like fish. So hopefully, I think it's a capacitor issue. But if it's not. Um, We'll find out. So let's take it apart and find out what's going on with it. So first thing we'll do is let's go ahead and we'll take out these screws here while we're thinking about these two screws here. Or three actually. So we'll take out that one there. Probably notice there's squares on my desk. That's why I make sure I keep everything in frame. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit better at this stuff. and It's going to take me a while. I don't I don't make as many videos I'd like to. It's just so much stuff going on, of course. You know, of course, this is my fun thing anyway. I would love to sit here and just do nothing here for this, but unfortunately, I can't do that. So that's why you don't see a lot of videos, but I try to post something. Well, my son does the posting, but he's been kind of a little bit behind on some of his postings, so I'm going to have to get on a little bit. So we'll take them screws out there. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see if we've got a bad capacitor or something else. All right, what we got here? We've got something here. So let's, yeah, you definitely can smell it. So we'll see what it is. So let's go ahead and take out these screws here. There's four of them, but don't necessarily mean that's where they're at. So we'll take these four. It's got something going on here. I don't know if somebody's already been in this at one time because the sides, these little side clips here, they're busted. So let's see what we got going on here. Let's see if this board comes up. Yes, it does. And this has got the display and everything. That's kind of unique. All right, so let's see what we got in here that might be stinking. It does smell. And whatever is, is stinking, it definitely, definitely got a bad odor to it. I don't really see anything. I'm looking for a cracked or capacitor that's blown on the bottom. Yeah, let's just take a little gander here. Let's, I don't see nothing there. It's, it is definitely older. Well, I can't say that because I think they still use some of this stuff. So, looks like right here. I'm looking at this right in here. Looks like this capacitor here went bad. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit. So. Let me go ahead and lay this over here. This will tell you what, let's go ahead and unplug this top daughter board here. Alright, let's go ahead and pull this out of there and we're going to lay this aside. Uh, I'm running out of sides to lay it, so we'll lay it over here. I need to get something so we can do that. So anyway, looks like right here. Looks like that capacitor there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. And let's see here. Now, if you notice, there's probably another there's another set of squares right here. This, so I know wherever I'm going to zoom at needs to be right there. So, looks like this capacitor here, and maybe even that one right there. So, looks like we're going to be taking some board out of here, which doesn't like it's actually not that difficult. At the same token, we got a crack in the transformer, which I don't like either. So we'll see if it's. So we'll see what goes on. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take those out. Let me zoom back out here real quick. Oh, tell you what, one of these days I'll figure it out. There we go. Then get slow. So let's see if we can get these out here. So let's go ahead and right, remove the wire for that. So here's a screw here. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and zoom out so you can see all the screws here. Uh, come on. There we go. Take that screw out there. 
my last video is about a power supply and I found something silly I wear or wore my hat and every time I'd get into the frame the hat would block my frame so I made a conscious decision to to remove my hat this time so at least if anything you'll see my head get in the way but you won't see the hat that hat just blocked all the views and I was kind of irritated, but I couldn't remake the video. And so, therefore, man, there's a lot of stuff to have to take off here in order to get into this thing here. Especially where there's a, I think there's a screw. Maybe not. But that will have to come off too because the, uh, that cable there does not want to, does not, is it made to be separated. Something's leaking there. I can see it right now. It looks like a pastor. And boy, did it make a mess. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a, a wet stain right there. And so, he was correct on that. That would be a capacitor issue. Boy, well, I'll tell you what. They ain't making this thing easy to come apart. Nope. Enough screws to choke a horse. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to pull the board out. So all I can do is pull it forward and tilt it up because of this connector here. I don't see any way of getting it. Well, there probably is a way. I just ain't going to fight the way. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I did find out one thing. I could put these two screws here. No, because that's the cover. Never mind. I said I could probably put those two screws back. But nope. I've got enough cable. Hopefully, I can tilt this out to replace those capacitors, you know, which is what we'll do. So, a matter of fact, let me go ahead and power up my thing here. My desolderer. And we'll clean this all up. Check the capacitors probably need to replace all the capacitors but right now I'm just going to replace the ones that are bad because not all of them could be bad but this is unfortunately probably in that magic that magic year of um, that magic year of what, 1999 through around 2009 so first of all we're going to take something blew all up wow don't know what that all is, but it's, it's, the way it's eating away, it ain't transformer, so the way it's eating away, it's this capacitor, so we're going to dissect this, take this capacitor, and I'm going to have to clean this board. If you look at this board, man, it's got a lot of stuff on it, so what I'm going to do here, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and clean, so I can clean it up. alcohol on it so that it will dry whatever liquid I put in. That's a, uh, I put a kind of a neutralizer. You can see it's eating up the traces there. So now let's take some alcohol and we'll just rub it down in there and make sure we clean all that up. Make sure, wow, it's really that, I'd say this, that capacitor's right there. Went bad. Yeah, it's, we'll check all the traces to make sure that all the traces are in good shape, but that's pretty bad. I mean, that's, and that's what happens to some of these old capacitors. I'll do a little video on capacitors. Like I said, I didn't want to make this more of a classroom training. I want more of a hands-on so people can kind of get an idea how to tear stuff apart without really worrying about stuff. So like right now, this thing doesn't work. So therefore, to me, big deal. Let's open it up. Let's see what's going on with it. And I would like to tell everybody to kind of do that, you know. So let's see if it is that capacitor that has leaked. Oh, leaked. And we'll go from there. So let's get my capacitor here. It's this one right here, so these 
that lead right there. are wrapped up together. We've got too many cords for too many devices. <laughs> but that's just how it is. Alrighty. Now you don't have to have a fancy thing like this to, to desolder stuff. You know. Oh yeah. I do believe something there isn't right. It's awful wet down the bottom so I think the seal blew on that one. And let me just take a look to make sure they've marked the polarity. Hmm. That they did not, did they? Oh, that's odd. I don't know why they did not mark. Oh, I guess they did. All right. You just can't see it. So, all right. So I'm going to pull the other one out as well. This stuff does stink. We'll clean all that. That's that um, cleaner I put on there. Problem is, when these things leak like that, they got a lot of electrolytic, uh, a lot of. Um, liquid there on it. So we're going to clean that liquid up and we're going to check our capacitors. Even though this capacitors. Now it could still be this transformer but I can't imagine this transformer having a liquid in it. And it could but I don't think so because I don't see anything leaking around there. So let's go ahead and let's get some alcohol here and let's put this down in here to take a paintbrush and kind of clean this up a little bit. There we go. any of this electrolytic chemical all over the place. Now, it doesn't say this is the problem. It might be another problem. It may have spilt something in there at one time. Somebody may have. It could be anything. I don't know. But right now we're going to check the capacitors. They are coming right off that regulator over there. So. Ah, got a busted diode too. I see it there. I got a bad diode right there. Right there. Whatever it did, it shattered the diode right there. So we have a bad diode right in there. I'll get a little zoom in so you can see it here. Okay. Get that down into that diode. Let me get this out. You look right, right there. It must have shorted out and busted, so we're going to have to replace that. Unfortunately, I don't know the number, but we will endeavor to find out. But I need to pull a schematic up on this. But right now, let's go ahead and let's put this aside and let's check our capacitors. We'll clean all this up a little better so it looks nicer. So let's let's take our capacitors here. And let's, huh, a little square so I know that's the middle of the thing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lay capacitors here on my shop rack here. And I'm going to take, I'm going to clean the, some alcohol and we're going to clean that up. See if it's the capacitors that may have been leaking or if it's something else. I always use 99% alcohol or in the 90s. Um, because it, um, I think it evaporates. It's got less water in it than 72. You can use 72 as well, but I always just use. Use that. So let's check your capacitors here. I'm off. Yes, I know I'm off frame, but I was wiping up the end of the rag and figuring out. It's a thousand microfarad at 35 volts. So at least they look like you're fairly decent size. So let's take my caster checker here. All right, let's zoom this out just a little bit here. Uh, there we go. Uh, look, 
probably won't be able to see that, so we'll just go ahead and get my solder down here. So. There we go. I'll leave it on a rag for right now. So let's see, these are a thousand microfarads. Oh, let's go for two thousand here. Okay. Alrighty. Positive and negative. It's not the uh, this capacitor's or this capacitor's good. Let's try. It. it may not be a capacitor. It may be somebody spilt something in there, and that caused all kinds of problems. In that case, sometimes you'll never be able to repair it. And that capacitor there is good too. Not a problem there. So my question is, what is it? So let's pull our unit back up. Those capacitors check good. I'm going to replace them anyway. So that's not it. Usually when you see stuff like that, that's an awful lot of stuff. And unless it's coming from this transformer, if it's coming from the transformer, I'll have to replace the transformer. I'm not going to have any luck. I'm not fixing with that. If this transformer here is leaking, and I can't imagine unless it burnt the windings up, and I don't know if we can get it apart, but let's see if we can... There, let's see if we can pry this apart, make sure there's nothing underneath here that... And we may not be able to get that capacitor, that transformer out of there. We may end up desoldering the transformer out of there. And we'll see if we can desolder it and see if there's a problem here. So I know black on black is going to be hard to see. But I want to make sure I knew I put it this direction. The, the numbers to the back. So I'm going to pull the, capac the transformer out. Do that real quick. May have changed tips here. Tell you what, let me, let me uh, change tips here for a minute. All right. You probably don't know, but I just came back and changed my tip, so I got the proper tip to take this apart. Now, there may not be nothing wrong. Whatever was spilled in here, I'm assuming may have damaged this. Uh, somebody may have spilt something in here. So we're going to take the transformer out anyway. And we're going to clean it up. We're going to put a couple new capacitors in. Right now, we've got a blown diode, so that might be something. But Usually these transformers don't have no liquid in them, so I, I doubt it's this. I say somebody's probably spilt something in it, and it's caused some issues. That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking, unfortunately. I think somebody has spilt something in there. Now I'm going to have to replace some diodes. and Replace the diodes. We'll put new capacitors in. Took that out so I can at least clean whatever gook is in here, That whatever they spilled in here that's causing this problem. We'll clean the whole thing up, which is kind of funny because now we've got that over here too. I don't know what they what was spilled in here or what was in here that's they've got in here, but they had something down in here that's caused a mess, didn't it? So we'll go ahead and got to, I'm gonna have to unfortunately download the schematic on this and see what we've got going on here. happened here. I really don't. So we're good thing. So I want to clean everything up with transfer, make sure there's nothing on that transformer that I don't think we can get that open because I don't think it's that style transfer. But we see it's got a crack in it right here, but I I doubt that's a liquid in there. So let's see here. They've got little let's okay, let's take a look at this. They've got little move this out of the way for a minute. Okay. 
I would say that liquid's probably what was causing the short. Whatever was in there was shorted out. So let me go get me a little pen thing here. Or um, something smaller I can see if we can open this up, make sure there's no problem in there. If you kind of look at some looks like little pins, like you gotta push over, but I ain't swearing to it. And I don't know. I'd have to find the schematic on this and find out if there's a there's a crack in here, but I don't think there's any liquid in here. I don't think there's I don't think this transformer has any liquid in it. Yeah. So let's go ahead and like I said, we'll go ahead and clean this up a little bit, get a little bit of alcohol on here. And, yeah, it'll go inside a bit, but that's not gonna hurt anything. Just wanna make sure we clean all that stuff off. Take a little air and we'll blow it. Alrighty, we'll let that sit out of there for a bit. Bring the board up, we'll go ahead and put our capacitors back in. Oh, we'll put new capacitors. We'll get rid of those. Well, we'll take the board and make sure everything's clean first. Then we'll come back to it. Alright. Go back to our board here and I'm going to zoom back out here. We're... Alright, there's no use. Alright, so there we go. Hope that's a little better. Hopefully I'm keeping everything in frame now and everything's looking alright. leakage up in here so let's go take a look see what it looks like behind here it does look like it needs a little touch up I don't think it's a capacitor issue now of looking at it I think somebody's I think somebody has spilt something in it so what we'll do is let's go ahead and touch up this little solder joint here a little section in here look like it got a little bit of juice on it Basically, I'm just refreshing the solder. And I may end up pulling the solder joint and refreshing it another way. Looks like we got a hole there, so I may have to go ahead and desolder this, whatever this is in here. What is in here? Two capacitors. Let's go ahead and check these capacitors. I'm already here anyway. Let's check these little capacitors here. Make sure they're nothing funky with them. Right, here's one. Pull this away. Let's bring my capacitor checker in here. This one is a 4.7 at, got some good voltages in this one, which is 4.7, should be what the magic number is. Now that capacitor could be low. It's not even reading, so that should... 1.2 microfarads. Wow, that capacitor is, just according to this, it looks like it's a 4.7. Well, I don't know. That's a good question. I thought it was a 4.7, but apparently it is not. So let's see here. Let's see what we got. My blinder's on here so I can see what the number is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a 4.7. That capacitor is bad. Let's pull the one below it out. Pull this one right here below it. Alright, 
to see if this one here reads. This one here is also a 4.7. So let's see what we got here. Huh, they're both reading 1.5s. So it looks like we're going to replace both of those capacitors. So those are reading low. So let's go ahead and get me a couple 4.7s out of here at 25 volts. And we'll replace them with the proper size. Tell you what, let's put 4.7 at 50 volts in there. And you can go higher in voltage. And you can go you can actually mess with the microfarads to a certain point. But anyway. Fingers open. So we're gonna replace two of these capacitors with new ones. These 4.7s anyway. Makes me want to go down through the whole thing and check to see if, how many bad capacitors we do have. Now these here were leaking so let's see make sure these are brand new here. Let's make sure I have the proper microfarad. There you go. That's good. That's brand new ones. And let's try the other one. Ouch. Ah, pick. There we go. Ah, pick it up. And 5.2, that's good. So, unfortunately, we gotta, since these have been spread a little differently, we gotta, we're gonna have to kind of take my thing here and bend up what I want to. That's why this can go in. Okay. Alrighty. So, we've cleaned up. Yes, everything's cleaned up underneath there. So, plus is on that side. So we'll put that in there and then what I always do is just kind of bend the leads a little bit and then we'll make us another one. Same thing. Well, because if you look, I'll show you here in a minute why I'm doing what I'm doing here. Alright. So we know those capacitors there were kind of bad. But if you actually look at the capacitor, they have a, a I don't know if I can see it or not. They have a the wires have been bent a certain way. So those capacitors were bad. Really, they were, I mean, they were really down there lower than I would have thought anybody would have liked. All right, let's get up over here. All right. For a minute, we'll lay you down on over here. Get you out. I need the solder for right now. All right, All right let's go ahead and solder these back on. Yeah, this is, this white stuff's the cleaner. I'll take care of that here in a bit. Mixed in a little bit with the alcohol. Again, hopefully that will take care of a little bit there. Alright. Still ain't quite figured out what leaked in there. Those right there were bad capacitors, but they weren't leaky. You know, they weren't leaking. I don't see anything down here. Looks like somebody probably had spilt something down in here. And sometimes when you spill stuff in here like this, kind of hard to tell if you've got an issue so right now I need to pull that diode out which is right here so let's get this here so you can see it. I need to pull this diode out right in here so let's get my desolder thing here and since I don't know the number I will have to pull the schematic out Don't want to lose that diode. Okay. There's one. There's another one. Right. So here's not quite free yet, so I'll take my soldering. It's going to get hot on my fingers a little bit, but that's all right. This is the other half of the diode. I don't really know what the number is, so I can't, I can't tell you. 
mite from the other diode on the other side. So here's the other half of the diode. I don't think there's any number on it, so we'll take a closer look, but it looked like it blew most of it away. So, all right, we're gonna have to do some cleaning here, so. Let's get some of the, do some of this here. All right, let's do some of that there. look at our traces too while we're at it. I've been trying to cut these videos down so they're not so long but you know when you get involved in this stuff it's, it's one of those things that you when you get in electronics there's just no quick way of doing it and I want to try to show you stuff that I look for and stuff like that so you know the well, I hate using cloth on trying to do this but there's no other way to do what I want to do here and then the cloth just sticks to everything just trying to clean this all up get all this tarnish off here from the cleaner still on here I don't think we're gonna have much luck just wiping it off I'm gonna have to get a different cloth here what we'll do is we'll have to Clean it, and I'll take my uh, take my toothbrush here. And we're trying to get some of this loosened up a little bit. Hopefully, I can get it to. Wad it off. We'll see if that takes care of some of it. Yeah, that's my bad thing with all these traces. You, you know, all you can do is just blot stuff off. Let's try. It. This is my windshield washer solvent stuff that I use. Let's see what happens here. Now, unfortunately, we may not be able to fix this. It all depends if I've got a schematic rally available. And if push comes to shove, I will just... I will... Uh, I'll just add a geranium diode in there, or is in here or whatever that is and hope the heck for the best I'm not, like I said I'm not a professional at this I just and I know there's math you can do to figure out how to figure out what stuff is but to be honest with you I just don't I'm a tinkerer mostly anyway <laughs> 